really struck by how little like valuable information or additive information that I provide. I'm just like, here's a record. Look at it, it's on black vinyl. Thanks for stopping in. Um, thought we'd, we'd pop on to a little no frills douche -isode, you know, just like that. Um, just gonna have a beer and talk about a handful of records and that's gonna pretty much be it. Um, you're welcome to have a beer. If you have more than one of these though, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to leave your keys or else I hope you didn't drive. This is what I'm having. It's uh, from Alaskan brewing company, I think. Is that what they're called? Alaskan Brewing. Um, out of Juneau in Alaska. This is their pilot series, Jalapeno IPA. It's 8.5%. Um, I was at the doctor earlier today and so I, and, and luckily it was right next to Toa Wine and more, so I'm obviously, you know, Gonna stop it till a while more. I grabbed some of this. Had some other things. You're welcome to. Um, I've had a few sips. It does leave a little. Uh, like you can taste that spiciness, but it's not spicy. If you know what I'm saying. Anyway, feel free. All right. So if you're new here, we show. Um, we like to show new. Uh, vinyl records, generally speaking, indie, indie, quote unquote, whatever that means. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here today. I've got some psychedelic type music, We've got power pop record, and we got some shoegaze. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be that. So I'm gonna start things off with a Costa Rican group called Las Robertas. That's how I'm gonna say it. I don't. I, I not only do I, I don't speak French. I don't speak English. I don't speak Spanish either. Las Roberta's album is called "Love Is the Answer." This just came out recently. Uh, it's their fourth LP. This has a much more refined sound, I would say, than the earlier LPs. This has more than a little bit of like a modern psychedelic garage type sound. A little bit dream pop, a little bit like Dum Dum Girls or La Luz kind of in, in there as well, in the nooks and crannies. Definite, really big time, uh, Brian Jonestown Massacre vibes, big time. Think about a modern Brian Jonestown Massacre, but only with like a uh, female vocalist. And that gets you pretty, pretty close. This is the insert that comes with it. There's no words on this insert. Well, I mean, except for those words up there. And this is the, this is the printer sleeve. I'm gonna show you the record because it's a little bit a little bit unusual. Anyway, been enjoying this one. Las, Re Las Robertas. Love is the answer. Next we've got uh, kind of a band out of, uh, kind of, kind of a band, kind of a band out of Philadelphia. 
Philadelphia or Philadelphia area, I believe. Five piece band. I think the second or third full length LP. I don't know. Uh, they're called Second Grade, and the album is called Easy Listening. It's on Double Double Whammy Records. This is uh, power pop, but I would say lo fi power pop. Very short, poppy songs. Maybe even, maybe think of like, um, like a lo fi teenage fan club kind of vibe. A lot of big hooky riffs, um, jangly, melancholy, um, kind of sweet vocal harmonies. I've seen a lot of people reference Guided by Voices. I can kind of see that. It doesn't really, that wouldn't really come to mind to me, really, except that the songs are short, like there's 16 tracks on this LP. Um, some of the songs are very short. Um, and it's, it's pretty lo-fi. Um, say that the, that the lyrics are kind of strange in places. There's a song called Kramer in LA, which is like, a, I don't, I, I guess it's like, if you're a fan of Seinfeld, when he goes, to, when Kramer goes to Los Angeles, it's like the song is written as if Kramer is writing Jerry from Los Angeles, something like that. Teenage overpopulation about like the teenagers stealing all of our um, summer jobs. Anyway, kind of a oh, kind of a fun record. Here's the printer sleeve that has a lot of words back there. Yeah, that sounds like a blue blue vinyl. Second grade, easy listening. Next, this album, I believe, came out in 2018 originally, and then this is a second pressing that comes on delicious black vinyl. This is a instrumental, instrumental, like psychedelic instrumental music. Um, Futuro Paco is the name, is, is what the, the artist is listed as, and it's a self-titled album. This is a guy named Justin Pinkerton, who lives, I think, in Oakland or maybe somewhere else in the, you know, San Francisco Bay Area. He's a drummer in uh, the Thrill Jockey Band, Golden Void. He also, um, I think, he's currently does. It's like a library music composer and does also composes music for like mixed media. I think maybe for commercials or TV shows or that kind of thing. Um, it's on. El Paraiso Records. So it's very, um, very cinematic, fuzzy guitars, um, like Krautrock influences. There's Moog, uh, Moog synthesizer on here. So it's just instrumental, psychedelic grooves. Um, it's very good. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I know some people don't like instrumental music. That's the way it goes. Futuro Paco on El Paraiso. It has a. It does come with a with a fake obi as as all the El Paraiso uh, records do.
next up, this is um, an Austin-based shoegaze group, I would call. Uh, that That's like a four-piece. It's their second LP that came out in 2022. So we're coming up. It's not going to be long and we're going to be to the one-year anniversary of this release. I don't know if they'll do a special one-year anniversary edition of this album, maybe with bonus tracks. Um, yeah, it, the, the artist is called Blushing. The album is called Possessions. So as I said, um, I think it's two couples. Like, I think they might be two married couples. I could be, don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on anything. Don't, <laughs> never quote me on anything. Um, yeah, shoegaze slash dream pop, extreme uh, lush. The band, the 4AD band, the great band, Lush. A lot of that, a lot of those vibes on here. Maybe like a heavier Lush. Um, it was produced by Elliot Frazier, who is in uh, Ringo Death Star, another Austin shoegaze band. And let's see, Mark Gardner from Ride did some mixing on here. And one of the songs features Mickey from Lush and now she's in Proshka um, doing backing vocals. So yeah, a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of Lush vibes. I really like this. I think I like uh, the deeper cuts more um, than the, the singles. It's kind of a weird thing to say. I really like this record. Um, yeah, Blushing. Possessions. Okay, so also um, just released, maybe within the last month, from the band Blushing is this LP which features two different EPs. So it's Tether. I think it, so the release is called Tether slash Week because there's the Tether EP and the Week EP. So the Tether EP is from 2016 which is, was, uh, I believe, self-released and never on vinyl. So first time on vinyl. So that's one side of the, of the LP. And then the second side of the LP is the EP Week from 2018. Yeah. So there's also some really, um, some really good songs on here too. I'll show you the inner sleeve. It's on, it's on, you know, some sort of pink-ish vinyl. Yeah. So, blushing, tether, and weak. So once again, um, you know, didn't really say much. So if you are into modern, new, new-ish shoegaze, I've also done a, at, I've also put out at the same time an artist spotlight on the San Francisco Bay Area shoegaze group 
called Young Prisms, and you can find that here. That's what it's all about. If you're curious or confused, get information or a pamphlet at most pharmacies or a health clinic. If you need help, see a doctor.